Hey, this is just another Pass the PMPT video. But unlike all the other videos, this one has a song. <laughs> I know why you're here. You're trying to do some OSINT on the exam yourself. You want to see if anyone drops a little tidbit about the exam. A little hint. A little hint that no one else said. Maybe give you a little... A little uh, Alright, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll give you something. I'll give you something. Yeah, I passed the PMPT. Yeah, alright. All right, second try. All right. Yeah, second try. You cocky. It might be you. It might be you. I might take it to the third try. Yeah, yeah. I just might. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But yeah, I passed. I needed the hint. The hint helped. It took me five more hours. I passed it. All right. All right. I I needed that hint because um. All right. What does everyone say? Everyone says. Everyone says. I didn't pass because I overthought it, right? Uh, when I hear people say, when I heard people say that, I was just like, "All right, you overthought it. That just means you underthought it, and you're not that's and you're not smart enough." That's <laughs> it's just like everyone says, "Yeah, I overthought it." That's what people say when they're making excuses, right? They overthought it, but no, no, no. I agree. I overthought it, and I overthought it, and I knew everyone. I'm going to echo what everyone says: is that you just need just need what's in that first course, a little bit of the external pen test playbook. And so I was overthinking it. I was using one of the attacks from the first, from the main course, maybe one of the more involved attacks from the main course. So it's not like I was going for a completely different attack, but yeah, whatever. The hint helped me. The hint was, uh, I was like, yeah, I'm trying to do this, but it's not working because I got to set this up and this up. Can you tell me if I'm on the right direction? They're like, um, this, you've, you've seen a couple of these PNPT past videos. They say enumerate, enumerate, enumerate. Yeah. Okay, but I'll do you one better. Not just enumerate blindly. Enumerate doesn't just mean look around. Is that is that the full lesson of enumeration? No. How do you enumerate depending on the environment you're in? Obviously, the OSINT section, there's tons of enumeration videos. How do you enumerate, enumerate a website, a company, when you're just using online tools? And then there's how to enumerate computers in an active directory environment right so it's not just enumerate 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 he tells you in the main course how to enumerate so make sure you pay attention for that watch how about this make a list all the all the classes in the active directory portion where he talks about how to enumerate in active directory um, and i'm not just talking about running nmap scan you know he says how to enumerate in an active directory environment, pay attention to those videos, look out for them, main course, you know, what to look for, what he looks for in engagements. So not just enumerate, how, how is he enumerating? Remember that from the class. In active directory, how is he enumerating? What is he looking for? Like what types of things does he look around for? You watch the first course, the main course, you know, of course I'm talking about, and a little bit of the pen test playbook. <clears throat> The parts that are unique, the parts that, like for instance, like the o, the OSIN part and the pe you know the OS OSIN part in the pen test playbook is good because it like summarizes all the OSIN, so it's good. But there's a part in the pen test playbook, pen test pl external pen test playbook, that is unique to all the courses. You know what I'm talking about? That little this this let's open up the external pen test playbook course. It's like a section that is clearly unique to that course. Maybe a section or two. Go over those. Hint, hint, go over those and maybe don't go over the third video on like dehashed or hunter.io or phonebook.cz. Like, <sighs> if I see another lesson on phonebook.cz. <sighs> um, no, no, but um, yeah. If you're stuck do the main course like a lot of people say it's not like a ctf it's it's like a i think what they mean to say is that you don't have to go too deep on one particular thing you just got to check everything so check everything if you're stuck go pull up the main course and watch video after video after video minute by minute did i try that did i try that did i try that did i try that we got time right you got five days let's talk about the psychology of it all all right i have a master's in computer science my parents paid so much for it it's hard for me to explain to anyone else in my life why I need to 
have further edu- more education now. It was hard for me to make time for this. And it was harder still when I felt like I was going to pass, man. When I felt like I wasn't going to pass. Like, oh man, I, I did it so much and I'm still not going to pass. So I, I, I look, I, I feel for you, man. I, I, or girl, I've been there. I've been there. Just today, I felt like I'm never going to pass this. But just keep at it. Keep at it. There are moments where it seems impossible. But look, if you're truly stuck, go through the main course. Go through it again. Every, everything that needs to be done, he talks about. If you need to think outside the box, it's outside the box. Yes, but on a technique that he, ta- he teaches. Right? You don't have to go so outside the box to find something, a new vulnerability. So, you know, focus on the active directory section. I wish they, he taught a little bit more about domain versus local accounts. Maybe a little confused about, all right, the administrator, how many different administrators can there, okay, so you, a local, you could be a, have a local account and be a local administrator on that machine. You could be a domain account and also be a local administrator on a machine. For instance, you could be a domain account, which means you could log into all the computers, but maybe on only some of them, you're a local administrator. So a domain account could be a local administrator and a local account could be a local administrator. And there's things called domain administrators. So I, I was a little confused at first. The way you know if you're logging into a local versus a domain account is, let's say the machine's called Spider-Man, right? From the course, you know that if, oh, by the way, there are also machine accounts. Okay, what was I saying? What was I saying? Okay, yes. So the machine is called Spider-Man. You know you're logging into a local user if it's Spider-Man slash the username. That's a that's a local account because it's the name of the computer um, slash the username. Okay, and you know you're logging into a domain. What do you call a domain? Uh, Marvel dot local. Marvel dot local slash a username. You know you're logging into a domain account, even though you might be on that same computer, right? You could be on the same computer, and your login will pop up and say Spider Man slash. Just delete that. Put Marvel dot local slash. Now you're logging into the domain. Okay, I feel like this this lesson was needed in the course, but a lot of you may find that obvious. And okay, remember, Crack Map Exec. If you're running Crack Map Exec with a domain account, just realize. Wait, am I running this with a domain account or a local account? So when you're running Crack Map Exec with a domain account, notice you put in the uh, well for both of them. You always put dash u username dash p password. But for the domains, when you're attacking with a domain account you add the dash d flag and the name of the domain so dash d marvel.local when you're using a local account for crack map exec realize you don't put the domain you leave out the dash d flag completely but in the end you stick a dash dash local dash off just remember that from the course do all right here's a pointer do the wreath room try hack me it's similar similar look you could you want to do the whole thing obviously it's great but you can skip the command and control section just get into that wreath room and do a bit of it get past the pivoting section that's important get a feel for why because the network's similar the network's similar and it was good for me to have that under my belt because all right they they show you hey um there's the first machine you compromise it's a public facing machine. It's, it's the machine that's exposed or just the most easily exposed. The one you hop onto first, probably like a web server, right? It's a front facing machine. And then once you get on that machine, then you jump to an, another machine deeper in the network and then another machine either deeper, even deeper into the network on, on, on wreath. There's three machines is that front facing Linux server. And then there's two machines. You got to hop from one to the other. So do that one just to get, some familiar network practice. So I want to recommend a video to help you do the wreath room, Siberius. He puts his own spin in it, right? He he shows you all the commands, but you know, he kind of like talks you through it a little bit. If you're just studying for the PMPT, skip the command and control and skip the obfuscation techniques. It's the, la- like the last 10 checkpoints. That's not on the exam, right? And they say that's not on the exam. Heath says that in the class, that's not on the exam. It's not a spoiler, right? he says that himself. Try to understand the commands in the pivot. You don't memorize the commands. Try to understand what's going on with the ports and and how the tunnels work. Usually a tunnel is just a way to connect two computers that ordinarily wouldn't be able to be connected normally. And 
and it's just a tunnel from one machine to another network or another machine. And just think, usually there's an entrance to the tunnel and an exit to the tunnel. And the entrance and exits of the tunnels have ports on them, right? So oftentimes your entrance to the tunnel is going to be your local host and a certain port. Use Siberius's YouTube video on the wreath room to go through it. And use Heath's 10-minute video on Pivot. It's really good because it's really simple. I did the bit of the wreath room and then I went to Heath's room. Sorry, Heath's video on pivoting. All right, maybe I'll talk a little bit about just like a review on the whole thing. Whether I think it's worth it. Maybe you're wondering like, should I do this? Maybe you bought like a month of the courses and you're like, am I going to pull the trigger on this? <laughs> uh, no, yeah, I love this. And then, all right, so this was awesome. Now, I love this kind of stuff. Like I would love to take like a simulated hacking. It's perfect. This, this is great. So, all right, here's my review on it. It's great. The, the best part is the cert. The cert itself, it's the, the, the exam is, is what this is about. The cert itself is the best part. It, 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 makes, it makes me like the Active Directory portion even more of the course and makes me appreciate it more. Like, okay, yeah, maybe the, the lab wasn't the best. First of all, it's good that we have to set it up. If you do like a try hack me one, we're not setting up the lab ourselves, right? We're not setting up the machines. So it's good to actually set up the machines. It's a good experience. A couple of the initial attacks weren't working. I, I was kind of pissed, you know, like the flags, just the commands that he was giving, some of them that he were giving just like weren't working. And I don't know, like on try hack me, I, I, I even made this argument in the, man, I'm, I was a dick on Discord. On Discord, I'm like, oh, dude, why doesn't this work? Like on try hack me, the commands they give you, they, they run on, on the network. They just, or on the machines, they, they run, they work. And try hack me is twelve dollars, and I just dropped like four hundred dollars for this. So I was like, "Come on, man! What, is, what does this work? This just does work." But look, remember, they like okay, we're paying four hundred dollars, or now it's five hundred dollars for the exam, like for the exam environment. It's awesome. The course is extra, I feel like, and the course is awesome too. Um, but it's the exam that's awesome. It's it's this it's this five day exam experience, and they give you a retake for free. And they're always available to help you. That's what you're paying for. Like the, any any awesome stuff in the course, I think is extra. And it, now that I go back, the course was awesome. So, so don't be pissed if you think that the labs aren't really working. You can't get them to work. Yeah, like compare this to. All right, NYU. Every course was six grand. All right, so network security was my last class, six thousand dollars. This was better. I learned more in this. It, this it was better. Sorry, sorry NYU. There were some good courses there. Some of them just weren't cutting it, right? I just oh, crooks. <laughs> this is better. Four hundred dollars. All right, it's five hundred dollars now. Look, the environment never dies. That's one awesome thing. Okay, if you do like a try hack me box, you gotta make sure you reset, dude. For this, it's up for five days. It's up. I've never had anything work so well. As this, in terms of just because I've done some hack the box and try hack me, I always got to reset, restart. Not a, this is your dedicated five day exam. And there's people on your beck and call, they're there. They're there if you have a problem, like it, within minutes. Pull up the main course and watch video after video after video, minute by minute. Did I try that? 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 Did